Hello viewers, welcome to MBT Mining. Today we are going to be talking about uh, the new form setup. Uh, what are all the basic things that you need to look into and what are the best things that you need to work on when you are setting up the mining form. So we are going to look at uh, first is the primary thing is electrical, the secondary is networking and Wi-Fi and the third is the placement of the rigs and the ventilation. So these things play a very crucial role when it comes to form management. Here we are going to talk about how uh, uh, the electrical uh, wiring has been split uh, to the number of rigs and what kind of a cables has been used and what is the total capacity of this particular mining form that we are going to set up now. Before we proceed, I wanted to say something that this is not a financial advice or this is not an uh, investment video. This is basically to tell you and uh, purely an education and entertainment purpose only. This is where I share what kind of uh, uh, practices that I practice and what kind of difficulties that I go through in setting up farms and uh, mining day to day life of a miner. So I'm going to be uh, talking about only things which I uh, face on a day-to-day -day, uh, life of uh, setting up mining farms or mining rigs. So purely an entertainment and uh, enlightening video. It is not going to be any kind of an uh, financial advice or an uh, investment video at all. Now comes to the main part where the DB is connected to the house. This is basically uh, the respective DB for the form that we're going to set it up. So this from this DB we have actually taken about uh, five total cables out of which we have taken four 10 square mm for three different faces uh, and one for uh, neutral and four square mm for the earth purpose that we have run from this uh, DB box main uh, junction box to the uh, particular forms uh, DB. So what, have, what we have done is we have done a back entry hole here and we have taken all the five cables behind this so it looks more uh, aesthetics and clean and neat installation so the client or uh, the apartment people don't have any issues tomorrow that we have tampered anything. So these are the measures that we take before installing any kind of a form uh, and how uh, the routing of cable can be done. So we have an expert electrician with us who actually does this for us. So we design the layout and give it to him and then he figures out the best possible routing to run the cable. So it's all very hidden and very aesthetic as well. I'm sure you'll be seeing the way we have done the electrical and the network wiring in a, such a clean manner. Not just because of the looks, it also is uh, uh, clear because it's clutter free, it's easier to clean and maintain the farm as well. So the less number of uh, cables and the less number of cl clutter, uh, the dust formation is also is uh, drastically reduced and it has to be in a very clean environment. So we do all the insulation in a very clean manner. Uh, uh, one of the example is this. This is the DB room for the mining farm actually. So what we have done here is to make it more uh, robust and stable, uh, we have actually taken a separate 10 square mm cable from the main DB to this junction box, DB box otherwise called. So we have run all the uh, 10 square mm cable, basically four uh, cores of uh, 10 square mm cable to this RCCB and then it goes to the uh, main uh, uh, meter to understand what is the total power consumption of this form irrespective of whatever the fan lights or the blowers or the fans that you use so from here then it goes to all this uh, mcb so each mcb is basically about uh, 16 amps and each is connected to two rigs like i said uh, uh, the even distribution of current is done to all the rigs in that case what happens is even if there is a failure of one rig or some kind of a leakage on the earth or uh, the phase of the neutral the particular respective uh, RCB, uh, MCB is one which will go off. So from here uh, what happens is this is basically completely an UPS power supply. So this in turn goes to the uh, each rig on the respective places. Uh, 
uh, this is the first main room where we're going to be setting up all the 13 rigs for the client and uh, these slotted angle racks are set up in such a way that there's ample uh, ventilation from the back and in the front too. So uh, just because we have the ample space in this room, you cannot be uh, loading it with too many rigs because managing the heat would become the problem. When it comes to the electricity, we have drawn a 6 square mm cable uh, from the DB room to this room. For every two rigs, there's one 6 square mm cable which has been laid from this room to the DB room. So how that's been split is basically for every three point six points, there's one six square mm. So basically this and the below unit is being connected to one six square mm cable using a four square mm cable. Uh, the MCB that is connected to each set of rigs is basically 16 amps, which can handle a load of another rig too. So that is how we uh, forecast it and do it in such a way that in case tomorrow there is an expansion required in case you're going to be increasing your rig from 13 to 18 numbers or something. So you can might as well just put another 4, four square mm wire and then connect another uh, switch box at the top of this rack so that you can just easily go ahead and multiply another add another four or five more rigs in this room. So each of these things has been taken into consideration of the total power draw by the each power supply that has been installed in the rig uh, so that the MCB also handles and so is the RCCB also. So uh, in, in turn, all these uh, MCBs are connected to RCCB. Uh, when it comes to the plug points, each socket has been uh, configured in such a way that each of the sockets are 13 amps. And the standard used here is international standards. So that in case if you buy an EU or an US plug, which also suit this plug point as well. So that's how been, it's been configured. So these three points, if you ask me why we have three plug points is uh, basically one is for the ATX power supply, the other is for the server PSU and one more is for the redundancy just in case in case if you want to add another fan uh, uh, behind the uh, rig or in case if you want to add AC fans to the rig which is which you can add up to four uh, AC fans uh, behind the rig. So you can use the plug point which is, uh, uh, which is there in this box itself. So that is why we give, uh, normally we standardize it in such a way that we have three plug points. So that, that's how it has been designed. So we don't stock anything at the top. So we have enough ventilation at the top. And in future, in case if you want to add up another inline fan system or a ducting system also can be incorporated in this room.